Hey everyone, it's Ventus here with Fire Emblem Heroes Arena. This Arena series, I pick one or two bonus heroes every week, and I build a team around them. This week is Team Krom. So before we begin, in case you haven't noticed, there are a bunch of fly requests. And uh, I don't know if this is a good thing, because I think a lot of people have trouble doing this one. Because there really aren't that many flyers in the game, and uh, to some extent, flyers can be hard to use, because all except one of them are physical, and that one of them is no longer available. Uh, so if you're lucky enough to have Bunny Camilla, she can probably help you a lot with these quests. But if not, yeah, it's going to be a little difficult. But at least you only have to do it one time. I mean, I guess it's only the lunatic ones that are somewhat difficult. If they actually end up being difficult, I might post a video on them. Post a video of uh, doing it without Bunny Camilla, because I think it'd be a lot easier with her. But yeah, more orbs. How much is that? Four? Four more orbs. I'm still kind of sad that they're not adding true dailies yet. It's been so long. It's been like, what, two, three months? It's not like it's early, an early mobile game where you don't consider these things. There's like a billion examples to look at, and uh, I'm pretty sure that most of them have dailies. Anyway, today's the last day of Team Krom, and starting tomorrow for the next week will be Team Never. So let's finish this week up and hopefully do it on a high note. Cecilia. All right, so what's gonna happen here? Tiki's actually really tanky and she has Vantage, oh god. She's using Flame Tongue with Vantage though, it's not that great. If it were Lightning Breath, then that'd be a little scary. Lucina with Falchion, ah. Uh. So these two units, is this a, oh, it's a tier four. No resistance buff? I guess that makes sense. Oh, it's only level 28, what the hell? Oh, this is probably for the quest. Right? Oh no, it's not. It's not the tier 3 one. It could still be for the quest. But regardless. Oh wow, another advantage. Renewal on Azura? I don't know if this is a good idea, because Azura is basically in combat one or two times only, and that's it. Havis. Yeah, I don't know about that one either. Questionable skills on Azura. Questionable skills overall, I guess. Okay, so what's gonna happen is she goes up 1 2, dance 1 2, attack. Most likely. There is a chance it doesn't go like that. So there's a chance that Cecilia goes 1 2 3, Azura dances, and then Cecilia goes 1 2 3, attack, which is really painful. Which would be really painful, I should say, if she weren't level 28. But she still has double weapon triangle advantage, so I need to be careful here. 33 ends up being plus 12 damage, so 45. Got it. 21 damage taken, no double. That's still pretty scary, honestly. But if I leave a unit there, it should be fine. Spring has sprung. So 33 minus 23 is 10 All damage right. against Krom. I think it's okay if I just leave Krom there. Lucina goes 1-2, one, 1-2 two, one, two, attack. So Krom moving up would be a bad idea, but if Krom stays here, Cecilia will most likely attack? No, because if she moves from here, she automatically attacks Sully. Yeah. Or whatever, I can take the hit. Oh, we'll put Darja in range for the resist aura. Or actually... One, two, dance, one, attacks. Okay, that's not that's not good. 53 minus 18. Yes. 43 minus 8, 35. 35 damage, leaves her with 1 HP, and then Cecilia one-shots. Yeah, we'll now? do it this way. I'll leave Virian down here. Virian might actually get hit for, for uh, a ton of damage, too. It's also weapon triangle advantage against Virian. So 33 ends up being... Plus 12, 45. Quite so. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave Yuri in there. It should be fine. Ah, oh, crap animations. Wait, what? Why did Lucina go right instead of left? Because Krom is on the left side, right? It doesn't make sense for Lucina to go right. 
Unless she's targeting someone else. But there's nobody worth targeting on the right side for her. She doesn't deal magic damage. I guess, okay, I guess Darja. He would want to get hit by magic damage, so it would make sense for her to go right as well. And then she would target Sully. It's very strange. Cecilia's gonna hit me no matter what. It's also weird she went this way. What the hell's going on with the AI today? Yes. 13 HP remaining. Let's go. 11 damage dealt. 1, 2... I'm just gonna have to tank the hit, actually. Yeah. If I attack twice, I can't attack again, otherwise Flame Breath or uh, Growing Flame goes off. What now? So we'll just leave the positioning the same. <laughs> Except I'm gonna move Varian. So if I don't move Varian, Lucina- oh wait, no. Lucina goes 1, 2, and then Sing, 1. Forest blocks. Okay, so this is fine. Got it. All right, I'm not gonna attack. I'm gonna put Crom here. Oh crap! No, she can't reach because she's always going to going to attack Sully. Yeah. Even if she goes one, the Sing doesn't catch up. So yeah, Cecilia goes here. I mean, uh, Crom goes here to take Cecilia, so she doesn't attack across. Okay, that works. Alright, and the next turn Tiki dies. And I should still have Swordbreaker. I only lost 2 HP. Oh, crap! Right, that also is a possibility. Right, right, right. Ouch. I forgot about that possibility. That's so painful, holy crap. Alright, well, no more Swordbreaker. How much damage do you do? 53... That's minus 20, so 33. Let's go. 33 minus 9 times 2. So Lucina actually kills Sully now. Indeed. Indeed. That's really bad. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked. Because next turn I would have killed no matter what. Yeah, I think I think in hindsight, I should have just not attacked with Darja, because I could attack this turn, right? And then she'd still be at 32 yeah. HP after taking another hit. Taking two regular attacks for one. It's still pretty insignificant. Very well. Lucina's also a problem because I can't double her. Azura. Azura's 28 resist. Indeed. I can probably kill her actually. Can I? Oh, joy. 42 minus 8 is 34. 34 minus 28. Oh, I can't kill her. Wow. 6 damage. Oh, so I need more damage. Wow, this is actually troublesome because that stupid ability went off. Lucina goes 1, 2, sing. One, two, attack. Actually, it probably won't go that way. 42 minus 19 is uh, 23. 23. Indeed. 24, and then attack with Sully. I think that actually works. But I gotta be careful here. Let's see. Because if Chrom attacks from there, Chrom dies. So Sully draws back, Darja goes here, attacks, kills Cecilia, and then uh, Azura, Lucina goes 1-2, sing, 1-2, attack. So nobody can be here, 1-2, attack, and nobody can be here. So this, this, and this, these are three danger tiles, which means next turn Lucina must die. Or I lose. Tiki has one, two, attack. Same range as Lucina. 
I can't take a hit from Tiki unless it's one, two from her. From her. Yeah. And I can't attack. Tiki's probably gonna go this way. There might be a chance Tiki goes this way and then Azura sings. And then she attacks oh, Tharja. Joy. 46. I gotta watch out for Vantage too. There's a double Vantage here. So I need to poke her to death. Oh, right. That's actually not Let's good then. Because go. Sully. Oh, Sully takes a lot of damage then. Oh, this is really bad. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Yeah, this is actually really bad. I'm not sure if I can kill Lucina properly. Damn that advantage. Huh. This is a lot more interesting than I thought it would be. I thought it would just steamroll her and then kill them both. Draw back. Sully, Darja, Krom, Varian. Varian will die next turn if I'm not careful. But this is his only free tile. There's also another possibility, and that's to let her attack someone. But the only person she can attack right. safely is Krom. So she goes one to attack. She'll likely prioritize Krom if I do that. But then Tiki must die. So one, two. Tiki can't die though. Tiki won't die, I should say. Because Tharja can't attack. Yeah, I don't think I have a I have an option to tank. I would love to tank Azura, but that requires these two to die, which is very unlikely this turn. Got it. Very well. Let's see if someone moves there. One, two, one, two, three, four. Like Poking from here doesn't do anything. I could move up. I wonder if Azura, Azura will attack Varian. 40 minus 24 is overkill. That that growing flame completely destroyed me. That's really, really bad. I just gotta hope that everything goes right. If Lucina gets stalled at all, I might be able to kill Azura and then draw back. Azura goes 1-2. Most likely Azura goes 1. Stands there. So Krom has to be there, but then Tiki kills Krom. Yeah, so don't, I don't have an option. Krom has to go here. Oh, joy. I have Vengeance, though. If I can get Vengeance to go off, which it probably will if Tiki attacks me. Very well. Oh crap, Tiki's gonna kill uh, Virian, actually, yeah. Right, so there was no escape from it for him. Damn it. So I should've just poked her then, because Virian would've died anyway. Right. I forgot about that. I actually thought that Darja would get targeted. Interesting. Oh no, it's Sapphire Lance. Oh crap, I'm so screwed. Holy crap, I'm actually really screwed. Wow, I'm actually really, 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 really screwed. Yes. Not even funny how screwed I am. Draw back, kill, and then cro oh, Wow, I'm actually really screwed. Holy crap. That growing flame killed me. Oh my god. So I shouldn't have tanked the attack. I mean, I should have tanked the attack instead of attacking back. That was too greedy. So, in what world do I actually survive this properly? Azura has to die, but then everyone's in range of everyone else. One, two, attack. Let's go. Tiki vantages me. Darja has to survive, otherwise the scene is going to be impossible to kill. Yeah. I'm just going to sack Prom actually. One, two, attack. Sully's not going to be Got in range. It. What a season! I'm sure it's too much of a threat to leave alive. Oh joy! Damn it! She doesn't even have vengeance. Damn, 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 damn. That's not good. Not good at all. What now? I think I lose everyone, actually. It's over.
The only way for me to kill is if Tharja is alive, but Tharja won't be alive because she gets doubled. Oh no, she doesn't get doubled. Wait, wait, she doesn't get doubled. Right, right, right. Never mind. I thought she got doubled. I thought this was 39. 39 was Azura, right? Never mind. So this is fine. This is actually fine. I'm just gonna lose everyone. Holy crap. Great start today. She has defiant speed. I gotta be careful of that. What now? So she actually does double Tharja. Let's go. And I can't kill her? I can kill her. Oh joy. I can kill her. Got it. Cause Vantage will kill. Or Vantage won't kill. And then she attacks. Yeah. She should live too, actually. If I do this Oh I can't though. Cause oh yeah yeah, yeah I can't. Cause Tharja has to give her the aura for her to live. Let's go. Otherwise it's four damage. And she gets left with two HP. So the only way for her to live Oh wait, she has growing flame as well. Whatever. Yes. I'll just let her die. Got it. Very unfortunate match. Yeah, so attacking with Arja from that tile was a really big mistake. Giving her two charge. Normally a five charge takes so long to actually build up. Joy. Damn it. She's been at 3 HP for like 5 turns. It's hilarious. You're already dead. She should have already been de dead. She really should have already been dead. I really thought that was going to be an easy one. Lin? Okay. Lin is like a weaker Lucina, but higher speed. Tier 4 Robin. Oh, ouch. That's a minus attack plus defense Robin. Ouch. Someone actually uses Frederick? Wow. I gotta watch out for this though. Wings of Mercy? Wings of Mercy is gonna be a pain. Holy crap. Let's take out Frederick with these two. Frederick and Alphonse should be able to be destroyed. Yeah. Let's go. What now? And then we'll lure Robin to the left. Indeed. All right. I could have repositioned. Oops. Oh well. All right, so he doesn't double. Yeah. And I can't eliminate Alphonse. He's not in range. So I'll let him attack, get counterattacked, and then I can kill both of them next turn. Or I can move Sully back and use oh, Darja to attack, but he actually does pretty good damage, 50 damage. Lin is also going to be a problem because of this. Lin doubles Krom, so Krom actually dies. What a season. Yes. That would be unwise, I think. Would it? How how much danger can I put myself in? 41. He's actually pretty weak. 41 minus... Uh, what is that? 8? Is 33. What now? 33 minus... Got it. 21 is 12 times 1. 31. What now? 31 plus 6, 37. 37 yes. minus 18 is 19. 19 plus 12 is not lethal. 
19 plus 12 is 31. Okay, let's do what it now? then. Let's do it then. Just take out Alphonse. Wow, no skill inheritance. I don't think Frederick's a good idea. I'm assuming this person doesn't have anything else but Frederick. But no, actually you should. You should at least have at least have Cecilia. Cecilia would work here. I think Cecilia would be better here. Alright. Let's just let's move go. Sully. I'll just keep her here. Doesn't matter, I think. Nobody else is in range. If Lynn walks up first, I can't double Robin. If I double Robin, how much damage is that? 42 minus 8, 34. 14 times 2. It's 28. Oh, actually, no. If Vengeance goes off, then I, I kill him. Rip. Do you like darkness? Now Frederick is dead. He's super dead, holy crap. Yeah. And now we can kill Lynn. Easy. What does she have next turn? Astra? She doesn't double though, she can't double. Spring has sprung. Spring has sprung. He said it. Oh, that was actually really easy. The importance of skill inheritance, huh? Or the impact of it, I should say. Actually, that match probably had to do with the enemy using gutter trash, like Frederick. And minus attack Robin and Alphonse. Frederick and Alphonse are like super gutter trash. Robin's alright. Speaking of gutter trash, and before I get wrecked, in reverse, like a fully skill inherited Niles with like 40 resist as a tier 5. Holy crap, it actually is. Except for one skill, okay. Holy crap, what the hell? Why would you have a tier 5 Niles? Oh my god! Okay, that's that's actually really scary. And it's a stupid map too, I hate this map. Holy crap, what the hell? Why would you do this? He's still pretty garbage, look at how garbage he is, his stats. Wow. Tier 5 with 34 attack. I don't know if that's minus attack or what. Or if it's minus defense, but it's so bad. Alright, let's take out Cherche with magic. But if I get hit by Iceberg, I die. Okay, Sully needs to kill Niles, I think. So let's put Sully in the front. Wait, hold on. Sully goes 1, 2, 3. Niles, Cherche. Cherche is gonna go after Sully. So if, as long as Cherche dies, I think I have this match. Pretty much. Very well. Crom in the back is okay. He's, he's just gonna be there for shoving. Yes. Let's go. Pivot might be a, an interesting issue to deal with. All right. But we'll see. Pivot's only gonna go over here though. Oh, what the? Fifty-one. It's still gonna be fifty-one, right? No, it's only because of rally attack. So if it's fifty. 47 minus 24 is 23. Leaves him with 20 HP. 34. No other additional abilities, right? So. He gets doubled, though. So 34 minus is 20 damage. So that's exact lethal unless they put Sully in range. Actually, Sully will be in range, so that's fine. I think this is fine, what I'm going to do. Got it. 
I think. I hope I'm right about this. I feel like this is okay for some reason. I actually feel like this is really okay. Indeed. What a season. Krom is not very useful. He doesn't have any weapon triangle advantages. He just deals damage. What now? So let's put Tharja over here. Quite so. If I attack him, is that gonna be a problem? It gives him emergency or uh, escape route more quickly. It charges his Astro by one. Very well. So he'll be at four, and then he attacks. Hits for, I think, zero damage. This should be minus 18. Minus 19? It's like 18 or 19. So it ends up being 30 damage. Oh, so he still actually hits for damage. Just not that much. So it's like six damage. Indeed. Six damage, single attack. It's fine. He'll be at one. Rally? Wait. Niles rallied? That's so stupid. Five damage. Okay, so this map should be over then. Because I kill Shershi like this, instead of like this. And then... Oh, he actually... Hold on. 34 minus 24 is 10. Minus 3. Let's go. Lissa actually gets in range though. Lissa gets in range of Varian to attack. So Niles attacks from here, Lissa attacks from there. Lissa deals 31 minus 9, 22 divided by 2, 11. So Varian actually dies. That means I can't take an attack from Lissa. Let's just take this slowly then, because Niles is going to end up dying anyway, really fast. There's no rush. Got it. So let's take out Marth. That's why Astra sucks. You never get it, unless you keep on trading, which is... In an ideal situation, it's not really likely. Or in most situations, it's not really likely. Very well. Damn, I was thinking if I could one-shot, then... <laughs> Varian one-shot, and that's a good one. Alright, let's attack with Varian, actually, because he gets Astra. See, he had to attack so many times just to get Astra. Oh, wait, he has Night Sky, not Astra. I took Astra off, because it takes too long. So I don't want him to attack Tharja. That's going to be really painful. Because Tharja actually deals zero. This is plus six. That ends up being 43. Tharja has 42 yes. attack. So Tharja is actually a non-factor in this match. Spring has sprung. I say she's a non-factor, but if she can take out Lissa... Oh, nope. If I can't take out Lissa, then I'm actually kind of in trouble. Indeed. Oh no, Night Sky one shots. Never mind. Yeah, Niles is too squishy. Niles is such a crappy unit. It's why I never use Niles in Arena, even though I don't really care too much about winning. Uh, he just—he just feels really bad to use because his attack is abysmally low. It's—it was like that in Conquest too. I think he caps out at like 27 attack or something. It's 27 or 29. I think it's 27. Which is like one of the lowest attack caps in the game. Very well. But at least in Conquest he was useful. Because he dodged like everything. And if you switch him to Bow Knight, he's Watch essential. Oh crap, I think what I screwed now? up. Lissa might actually No, we'll just kill Lissa here. Does she have does she have what it what's it called? Miracle? No, she doesn't. Okay, even if I don't kill her here, I could just shove Varian to the right, and then Lissa can't attack from where Tharja is. Got it. Yeah, if you play Conquest on Lunatic, Niles is very, very essential. Because you need Shuriken Breaker. Well, you don't need it, I guess. No, I, I actually think you do need it. If you don't use DLC, then I'm pretty sure you need it. For, uh, 
Roma's map. Damn. Somebody really likes Niles. Because I don't think he was into focus. Was he? I don't think he was. Or was he? No, I don't think he was. Yeah, so someone really likes Niles. He's a cool character. Just not in this game. He's like the opposite of Gordon. Gordon in this game is amazing, but in Shadow Dragon, he's complete trash. And then Niles is actually really good in his game. Well, he's really good on Conquest. He's not good on Revelation. Anyway, that's actually the end of this week. That's the end of Bunny Crom's team, Team Awakening. So next week will be, starting tomorrow, next week will be Team Never. It'll be a Shadow Dragon team. And uh, hopefully next week is a lot better than this one. Hopefully. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back tomorrow with Never. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day.